something that could dampen Chopper's mood, sticker shock when buying health insurance. The Congressional Budget Office just announcing that the Senate health care bill will jack up premiums by more than 10 percent for a lot of Americans. Utah's Republican Senator Bob Bennett is not surprised. He's in D.C., where I don't know if I told you, I'll be heading this Thursday for that big old jobs summit. Senator, always good to have you. Th these are some alarming figures. How reliable are they? Well, I think they're very reliable, and they confirm what we've suspected all along. If you go back to the campaign, President Obama promised that every American, typical American family, would see their health care premiums cut by $2,500 a year. Now the CBO says no, this program would increase them by $5,000 a year, roughly. That's a pretty bad swing. Seventy-five hundred dollars in the wrong direction for all Americans. right. So, so when they One talk the about this, people are opposed. I'm sorry, Senator. When they talk about this being deficit neutral over the next ten years, even assuming that's accurate, it's it's on our high, right? We're we're we're, we're making up for it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Deficit neutral used to mean that it's not going to cost any more. Deficit neutral under this definition means it's going to cost you over a trillion dollars, and we're going to find a trillion dollars either in Medicare cuts or increased taxes so that we end up with the same number at the bottom line. That's not the definition of deficit neutral that most Americans want. Is it your sense, though, that they're going to get something, though? The 60 votes and getting that might be dicey, but they're going to get uh, something. They're not going to leave here without getting something. Far, far too early. Far too early. If this bombshell out of the CBO that says that you're going to see the $2,500 cut turn into a $5,000 increase, is duplicated by other bombshells later on. It's far too early to try to predict what might happen to the ultimate bill. But does it bug you, Senator, that not a lot of folks are reporting this new CBO figure and these new premium figures that if you were to hunt and look around in the papers and the various other networks today, it's kind of getting buried. So I don't know if that many even know it. Uh, we've got a long debate ahead of us and there will be plenty of opportunities for us to point it out between now and the time when we get down to the crunch votes. Do you think in your gut, Senator, the 60 votes are there? They're not there right now, but uh, we'll wait and see what happens. We're going to do our very best to tell the truth about the bill, and when we, we are convinced that when we do, the independents, Republicans are already pretty well drug in on one side, the far left is dug in in favor of it, right. but independents, those swing voters, right now, they're against this by about a two-to-one margin, and we'll see as the debate goes on whether that margin increases or not. I think it probably will. All right. Um, Senator, always good having you. Thank you very much. You bet.